Yo, guys, before we start this video, you've got to see this new poster I got in the office. It's... Uh, what the, the hell is this, dude? More AirPods. Nigel, what are, you, what are you doing, bro? Are you watching a Jake Paul vlog? Hold on, wait. Hell yeah. Is this... Oh, my... Is this that mystery unboxing, like, child gambling bullshit integration that everyone's talking about? A beast? I, what? Oh, hold a sec. You, are you literally on the site? $90 for a Supreme Hype Beast box? Are you kidding me? What the hell? What do you think you're doing? That better not be Shut my money. That mouth. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new sarcophagus full of old Playboy magazines. My name is Leon Lush. I do appreciate you joining me here for a few minutes today. You know what you're in for. You know why you clicked on the video. That's right. PewDiePie has done it. Next. Doopsie, Jake Paul, and Ras Gam. What do they do now? Keemstar has done it. YouTubers are scamming the kids. The children are being scammed. Kavos has done it. Scam. H3, H3 has done it. Hold on, one second, guys. <laughs> and Leon Lush has done it. Well, I get. Oh, there's no cutaway, I guess, for that. I'm, well, I'm currently doing it. I'm, I'm making I'm making a video about this that you know these popular YouTubers encouraging young kids to gamble online. Listen, my reaction to this kind of thing is almost always the same. I go, oh, oh wow, I'm so unsurprised because let's be honest, are we shocked at all that the exploitation of young impressionable minds is kind of like commonplace on YouTube? I mean, big dollar signs, baby. Exploitation to children is like the heartbeat of YouTube at this point. So this mystery unboxing nonsense has been around for like a couple weeks, couple months, right? Some other pretty big YouTubers have done these integrations, but it wasn't until Ricegum and Jake Paul made these videos where it really hit the mainstream as far as our side of the community. Um, and I thought Ethan did a nice job with his video. He basically echoed all the same sentiments that I have about it. So I was hesitant to make my own video about it because he kind of said a lot of the things maybe I would have said, but then I had a lot of people on Twitter hitting me up. Yo, Leon, what do you think about this mystery unboxing thing? And I'm like, well, if you want to know, then hell yeah, I'll make a 10 minute video and slap five mid rolls on it. <laughs> Now, for those of you that have been abstaining from internet use for the past several weeks, Jake Paul and Ricegum committed an oopsie. Yeah, you heard me right. Jake Paul. Oopsie doopsie. Ricegum. Ah, oopsie doopsie. PewDiePie saying oopsie. Oopsie. So this website, mysterybrand.net, is paying big YouTubers offensive amounts of money to promote their product. And their product is this mystery unboxing website, which is just glorified gambling dressed up a little bit nicer. Honestly, you just scroll through the website and there's all these beautiful pictures of all this hype beast gear you could win, these electronics, this Rolls Royces, real estate. It's just, it looks great and it's so promising. I can roll the dice for $20 and win a heckin' car. <sighs> Hell yeah! Should we try and win some shoes? Start start small, go for the car. All right, so I'm going for the box called Hype Shoes. Uh, that one probably has the dopest shoes in there. I'm a hype beast. So this website pays these big influencers like multiple six figure deals to just make dedicated videos of them like opening up all these mystery boxes, right? Making it look fun and exciting like, ooh, I can open this box for a hundred dollars and I have the chance to win something worth like fifty thousand dollars. This is crazy. And then you watch like the Jake Paul video and he's just opening up boxes winning like stuff he doesn't even want the entire time. Can't open the box, okay. Here we go. Oh, this is fun. Converse Chuck Taylor's All Star. Okay, I got Converse. Dang it. Okay, I was hoping for something better than that. Let's keep on going. Yo, you can't win everything, okay? I got this. I got this. Keep calm. Keep calm. I got bands. But the appeal of that small chance that you could just spend very little and win something great has legions of children heading over to this website and spending their hard-earned Christmas card money on these bullshit mystery boxes thinking they're going to leave with a nice little supreme knapsack and instead they get like a pair of Hanes underwear or some bullshit. It's a glorified online scratch ticket. You spend money, sometimes you win, but you almost always spend more than you make and we're promoting this to young children online oh why you ask well that's very simple in fact let's get close 
Cha-ching. Yeah, I mean, this site is putting up huge paper for these integrations because they're probably making millions off of this nonsense scam. And these YouTubers that have been under fire the past couple days are the types of YouTubers that can't see the forest for the trees. They see dollar signs and their eyes gloss over like a dead sea bass. And that's all they can think about is the money. They don't think about long-term consequences for the brand or give a single shit about the possible welfare of the audience. I mean, they're talking about, you're talking about promoting something to your audience that could potentially be addictive and financially crippling. Especially for kids that maybe don't know any better, even for adults that are probably doing it, gambling is something that can be a serious addiction. And I know people personally that have had their lives ruined because of it. By the way, can I just say how much of a mess this Jake Paul video is? Just watch this part right here. Let's start off with going for maybe an iMac. So I guess you put in the product that you want and then you put a probability percentage uh, of what the percentage is, is that this is gonna not make sense. But basically you put a percentage and when you go to open the box, that is the percent chance that you have in winning that exact product. And also the probability that you put also affects the price of the box. So if you put that you know, 95% chance that you're gonna get an iMac, it's probably gonna be more expensive. Apple iMac percent chance. I'm going with 5% chance. Apple Watch, 95% chance. Box price, this one's at $1,138. Wow, what a pitch. <laughs> this is gonna not make sense. You mean to tell me that if I spend $1,138.43, I have a 95% chance to win a Apple Watch valued at $750? Genius! Anyways, the whole video is just a complete train wreck. I don't know if he got new editors or something, but every two and a half seconds is either like a cartoon sound effect or just a cutaway to some irrelevant meme, and it's almost unbearable to watch. This is where you can win, like, stuff that humans can't even buy. I can't. Name your box. Cereal box. I like cereal. Tragic. Image for your box. Now, I will say the silver lining to Jake and Rice Gum making these videos is I think it really shed a light on this website that has been doing integrations with large YouTubers for several months, and nobody's really bad at an eyelash. YouTubers like Guava Juice, Morgs, Reaction Time, Ricegum even mentioned this fact in the response video he made to all the blowback he's been getting since a day or two ago. Like this, you know, gambling thing is the current, you know, topic of discussion right now. It's like a big deal, but it's just like, there's this YouTuber named Reaction Time. He actually has more subscribers than me. I don't know how, because he's not cooler than me, but anyways, he made the same type of video, the same type of video, like three months ago. No one said anything. Anything. It wasn't a problem back then. Look, look, look. All these guys right here, right? They're in David Dobrik's crew, whatever. They're influential, got kid fans. Same thing, open up boxes. This was three weeks ago, way before I was doing it. Why did no one bring it up three weeks ago or even talk about these guys? This guy, Morgz, same exact thing. Literally same thing, four months ago. And he's not even promoting gambling to kids. He is a kid gambling. This dude's 17 gambling. It's not a problem though, right? Ooh, don't even get me started on this last guy. Guava juice got more subscribers than me. Why is no one talking about this guy? And he made makes slime videos. He makes slime videos. Do you know what that means? No one over the age of 10 is watching slime videos. No, I don't think this is a good defense on Rice Gum's part, you know, when you're being criticized for something and you just point the finger at everybody else. But he does raise a pretty valid point. I mean, there have been big YouTubers doing these integrations for months and nobody's really raised an eyebrow until Rice and Jake made these videos the past couple of days. And I don't know the exact reason for that other than the fact that historically the commentary community has kind of a hate boner for these two. So thank you, Rice and Jake, for making these videos to get on the radar of some big commentators uh, and really bring this mystery brand website into this, the glaring limelight of condemnation on this beautiful uh, website of child exploitation. And on YouTube, it's like a common thing, like when YouTubers work with brands and sponsored videos, like I've seen Shane Dawson, just I've seen so many YouTubers do it. Now this part of Rice Gum's response, I hated, because he tried to lump brand integrations with somebody reputable into the same category as, you know, schlepping online gambling to children. It's like, those are totally different things, man. When you are about to endorse something, to your millions of fans and followers that are predominantly young, you gotta use your brain, man, and think about what you're endorsing and what you're promoting, what you're attaching your name to, and to just so nonchalantly, like, I know, I understand the money's huge, right? You're talking multiple six figures here, but to endorse what is literally just an, like another CSGO lotto, pretty much, what are you thinking? What are you thinking doing that? I don't understand how like the like you have a lot of money to begin with Sure, the money's nice, but like think about 
I don't know. Man. Anyways, it was a stupid move, but I'm glad they did it because it kind of shed light on it, and now we can see with a little bit of research how many other big YouTubers were working with this particular company as well. And most YouTubers, as you know, have a predominantly young audience. So while Rice Scum and Jake Paul may be the ones nailed to the cross right now taking the heat for all of this let's not forget about how many other youtubers did the exact same thing uh i'm just happy that people are talking about it because i personally think it should not be allowed i feel like on a website that is so heavily trafficked by young kids and a website that is a self-proclaimed metaphorical like moral high ground where you're not allowed to swear and be advertiser friendly it, it's got to be somewhere in the TOS, right? That you're not allowed to like blatantly promote online gambling to kids. I don't know like the ins and outs. I don't know like Article 37 of the YouTube Terms of Service, Line 6, fucking. You can't do. I have no idea. I haven't read them. I don't give a shit. But it can't. You can't be allowed to do this. So I'm curious moving forward to see like what's going to happen. Are these videos going to stay up? I mean, they got paid big money. So if they have to take the video down because of some sort of TOS violation, do they lose? Lose that money does mystery brand not does mystery brand dot net be like yo yoink let me get that 200k back because your video just got striked or some shit so i don't know man both the videos as of me recording this all of these videos with mystery brand dot net are still up i mean it is right it's legal right the website is legal online gambling is legal i think you have to be 18 to do it at least in the united states so i think the discrepancy the, the fuck, use your words leon Sorry. I think the discrepancy is the fact that YouTube is so predominantly young kids as far as the viewers that are watching this style of video um, that to promote something that should be 18. I mean, it should be no different than like smoking and jewels and nicotine products like Nick the Smokers channel got deleted. It got reinstated. But anything where like there's something that's promoting something that's 18 plus towards what is a young audience is like a mm -mm, new not on YouTube. So I'm curious to see how this goes. Uh, I'm glad people are making videos about it. I wanted to I wanted to just kind of give my two cents. That's my two cents. I think it's stupid. And I think if you use that website, you're an absolute sucker. But I think a lot of kids don't know any better. And I think to promote it to these kids that don't know any better should not be uh, a thing that's allowed on YouTube. So we'll see what happens moving forward. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, Nigel did an oopsie at the beginning of this video. So he wasn't able to join us today because he's a big fat loser. But I had fun with you guys anyways. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you could do me a favor and just add mysterybrand.net to the block list of all of your web browsers and then put on a tunic and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Oh, it's going to feel good. I'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Yeah. Thanks.